Hey ladies and gents, Ro here, and welcome to Nono Films. Today I'm going to continue our iMovie tutorials, and in this tutorial we're going to focus on the new iMovie layout, the new features within iMovie, basically of Yosemite, iMovie Yosemite, and uh, basically how I use and what I use for my layout as well. So I'm going to go ahead and launch iMovie, the new version of iMovie, and as soon as you launch it, you're going to get the, some of uh, loading. It's going to be launching, loading, um, processing, but you'll be able to uh, open it up, and uh, from here, this my, this is what it similarly looked like right now. But as soon as you have an event, and uh, I do have previous tutorials also of you where you can see um, how to um, set up uh, events and projects. But when you have a project and event, I'm gonna go for example, I'm gonna go into my iMovie tutorials event, and I'm gonna open up my my tutorial um, project. As you can see, it opens it up, random all the footage within that project available and then the actual timeline project at the bottom here yeah here now before I begin I do want to mention that all of my previous tutorials I did use the um, swap project and event layout which is what I'm used to because it was the old version of my movie really old version of my movie but as you can see here this is what it looked like I had my main timeline up here at the very top and then I had the my what was in my projects and within my events down here whatever I imported went down here into my event of my project, <laughs> uh, where my project would be, and then uh, wherever I dragged from my event into my project would go straight into my project into t into the timeline, and that was up here. But now I'm gonna be starting. I'm gonna be staying to the original layout, which is gonna be window swap project and event. This is the way it's gonna look like with your timeline at the main very bottom, and this is what you most of you will most likely have as well already set up. So. Um, now let me go into some of the Yosemite items um, regarding the new update 10.0.6 just to show you guys I'm going to go about iMovie and show you guys here that this is the iMovie 10.0.6 that I'm running on and uh, within this new version you'll be able to find out that okay, as soon as you, you're in your project for example you'll see that right off the bat you don't even have an adjustments um, bar anymore it's just already everything all the options are already laid down in front of you and uh, it'll, they will be grayed out like this this means you don't have something selected to edit now for example let's say you selected a clip to edit you'll then have the options in order to edit that clip the options then you just click these audio you got the stabilization cropping and color schemes and just the standard um, info regarding the duration of the clip now let's say you select a text field it will give you the option for the text field to edit those texts and then also, let's say you select your actual normal clip, or let's say you have a picture-in-picture, picture, you drag the pic clip up on top of another clip, then it will give you that extra option here, which is the picture-in-picture, picture, blue screen, picture-in-picture, picture, or cutaway. <laughs> and uh, from there, you'll be able to edit that. Now, like I said, there's no adjustments bar. The adjustments bar was replaced by the share option, which is now over here. We did have the share option over here before, next to the import, right here on the left-hand side, but now we have it right next to the enhance option the share option and within the share option um, everything else is basically the same also if you go to iTunes your iTunes is now the new, it's connected to your new iTunes it should be all better now um, some people were having issues with that previously but we were waiting for the full iOS um, your iOS 10 Yosemite to be to come out but um, now let me go on to share um, sharing to YouTube should uh, completely work now I do have a tutorial on, out on that now too but you're gonna need to just connect it link it to your account and from there you'll be able to go on from there and then just select your uh, quality of course now the cool extra feature is if you go to file if you share as file you'll now have the option to format you can do audio only or you can do video and audio now remember that this is through when you hit share you go to file this is where you'll have the option to audio only if you want to only export the audio and here you also have the definition again of the video and then the quality for example you can do a custom we can do 16 megabytes per second or you can go with most of the time best pro resolution I want you to pay attention here real quick this is high 34.2 megabytes that's because this is only a 20 second 22 second uh, footage that we're exporting here 20 sec 22 seconds which is not a lot and that's why it's such small but now for example let's go if we go to pro best best pro resolution you're gonna go 209 megabytes you see that basically tripled itself actually more than tripled but it you can it's basically trying to it's really focusing on the pixels and the detail of the footage and I do suggest using this one especially if you're trying to um, let's say you're going from 1080p since my clip here I'm gonna go 1080p 
and then we want to go pre resolution you can actually if you use this option you can actually export your video as a 4k video if you do it through another processor most likely but um for now i haven't i haven't pr officially um proven that it goes into 4k i just i assume that that's what they're trying to lean towards because that is the new quality that is available now and it's basically one of the best qualities out there there's nothing better than 4k quality but there's you there guys have it you can share straight to youtube or go through file or any of these other options shouldn't have any problems or you can actually share it as an image <laughs> but then um, for example, you can do file, <clears throat> and you have these options in here that like I mentioned earlier. But other than that, be sure to leave any questions or comments in the comment section below, you guys. Be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. Other than that, thank you guys for watching, and uh, that's the basic um, iMovie Yosemite layout. Everything should be all good now. Catch you guys next tutorial, and later. Let my life be the proof, the proof of your